literally we could get interrupted at any moment. Somebody could walk through that door and be like, I'm seeing you did on set. Oh, hello. Who are you? Who are you wearing? Tell me everything. Is she my charade? Um, my name's Peyton. Peyton Snipe. Okay. Thank you for calling. And you're welcome. I'm from Delaware. Delaware. And what are you calling in about tonight? What 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 drove you to call in to the this fictitious show? I've decided it's a real show. <laughs> I just think you're very beautiful. Thank you. Finally, you want to kill anybody else out there to tell me I'm pretty? Jesus. It's very nice of you. I appreciate you. I mean, I appreciate that. I would never say I appreciate you, but maybe I should start. Um, well, how tall are you? Five foot two. Um, too short for me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dance around it. I'm so tall. I'm five eleven. It would never work. Mm-hmm. But you're probably married. Are you married? Are you in a relationship? Absolutely. I've been single for all my life. All your life? Can I ask you a very personal question? But it might be totally okay. rude. Can I? Yep. All right, you can sleep all your life. Oh, shit. God, it's so funny. I actually have an acting job, and I'm sitting in this trailer, and I could, and it's a lot of waiting in, in, in Tinseltown in show business. So at any moment, we might get interrupted. But uh, my question was, and it's none of my business, tell me to fuck off or something that not as harsh if you don't want to answer this. But are you a virgin? That's funny. Oh my god, I can't believe you told me that. That's very kind of you. Well, we don't have to talk about it anymore, because I don't want to be like, that's rude of me that I asked, but I did set it up with a big, like, you know, you don't have to answer. But, how old are you? 24. You're 24? Ah, mm-hmm. oh, you're fine. You're fine. I don't even really want and, to... Um, I was diagnosed with the autistic spectrum when I was six. You know what? I, wait, you're on... Where on the spectrum are you? Autistic spectrum. Wait, autistic. Interesting. Because I feel like I, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like one of my most serious boyfriends was on the spectrum. Not to make it about me, but you are calling into this fictitious Instagram show that we're participating in. Um, I feel like I've dated men on the spectrum. I feel like Ethan Fielder is on the spectrum, don't you think? Mm-hmm. He's autistic. So wait, how does your autism manifest? Like, how does it, what about you? Would, would I, what would you do where, where people would be like, that guy's autistic? Like, tell me how it. I mean, I would be flawed, but I mean, I'm kind of used to it. But what are, what are the uh, characteristics of your autism? Um, sometimes I, like I use that with my hand for no reason. I just twitch my hand. I don't know why. Well, do you live with your parents? I still do, yes. Do you, do, do you go on dates or you want any kind of uh, dating website? I try dating websites, but I, you know, I'm, I'm always cautious about safety, you know what I mean? Oh, you're cautious about safety. That's so wonderful because it's, wait, that you're afraid, like, the woman might hurt you? Because I'm always thinking the man's going to murder me. Like I always watch Investigation Discovery. I know what happens. Oh, my God. I always watch Law & Order SVU. And I'm always, yeah. have you ever seen that show? Yes. Yes, where it's always like, dunk, dunk, going, oh, like, oh, no, what's going to happen? Like, this is like the intro to one of the episodes where it's like, um, you know, the victim, his name is Pete. He met her on Instagram Live, but she seemed fun and, like, like earnest, but all of a sudden, he went missing, and uh, turns out, I forget, I don't know where I'm going this. Anyway, whatever, I'm not going to murder you, and... <laughs> You look familiar. Did you do a movie back in 2009? I think Cabin Fever? Oh my god, yes. And you, have, you already knew and you were going to ask that, you silly goose. I can't believe it. Yes, I did. But I, I'm kind of embarrassed about it. But I'm also not. Because it's kind of like a ridiculous movie that's kind of like, I'm so... Yeah, I did the movie. I did that. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Okay. Stop yelling at me all the time about it. Jesus. <laughs> um, well, I'm taking other calls, so okay. if I hang up, it doesn't mean like, fuck you, it doesn't mean I'm trying to be rude or anything, but what's your favorite TV show, and I have two more questions after that, what's your favorite TV show? Uh, I love Bates Motel, that's a very good binge watching show. Okay, you're saying. And, uh, oh my god, oh my god, and you're scared about going on 
Bates when it's like, you're all like my favorite that, shows are Dexter and Bates Motel. That, but, that's but, absolutely real. What'd you say? That stuff's real. That show, those shows are fake. Oh wait, side note real quick, I'm gonna read one of the comments. Somebody, somebody named Urban Renewal says, Alexi, it seems like you've gotten a lot nicer over the years. Yeah, they fucking have. I was actually thinking that myself. We, uh, real quick, sorry. Um, yeah, I think I used to be meaner, probably because I was mean to myself or something. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, yes, through the years, age and working on yourself. Makes you nicer, we hope. Hello? Oh my god, that's, I thought somebody was knocking on the door. That's like the intro to a horror film. Hold on. This is like the intro to, this is Cat Fever Part 3. It was like this. Hey, I'm so glad you... Hello? And then the phone drops. <laughs> Right? Mm-hmm. So I, think you're, I don't know how to hang up so you have to do it for us. 